if you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you want funding for your deals, regardless of what your broker says, regardless of what any kind of hard money lender says, uh, regardless of your experience, don't go anywhere. In just a second, I'm getting ready to plug you into getting the funding for your deals. Well, welcome to Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. And if you are uh, first time um, here in our audience on uh, tuning into the show, well, I want to uh, welcome you and give you a special uh, hello and shout out for joining us. Uh, My Lands, the um, the uh, the podcast, the YouTube channels, they are starting to blow up now with the downloads that we're having. And if this is your first time to the show, uh, what do we do here on the show? Well, we talk about all things related to investing in real estate, primarily uh, single family houses, uh, how to find the deals, how to get the deals funded, how to sell them fast, how to automate the business, how to find deeply discounted uh, deals before other real estate investors know they exist. So anyway, today on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about this deal that I am closing this afternoon. In fact, just one hour from right now, I'm scheduled to be at my real estate attorney's office to close this deal. And uh, in this show, I'm going to tell you exactly how I found the house Uh, the numbers, the profit, uh, how I'm funding it. And uh, I've got identified seven very important lessons that I want you to take note of uh, that you can learn uh, from this show uh, as relates to doing these types of real estate deals. But before I get into talking about this particular deal, um, I promised just a moment ago when we started up that I was going to let you know what's going on and get you plugged into the funding. So in just a few short weeks, I mean, it's right around the corner from right now, my next live event, which is titled and called uh, Real Estate Investing Cash Flow Conference. It's right around the corner. And I'm going to tell you in just a second how you can come to this uh, $3,000 event for less than a hundred buck registration fee. Um, So in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put right up here on the uh, video, if you're watching uh, on YouTube right now or any of our other channels, right now the website to go check it out and see everything that's going on at this real estate investing live event and why you would want to come and get registered. Go right now after the show on over to www.jayconner.com forward slash all in lowercase money podcast, M-O-N-E-Y-P-O-D-C-A-S-T. So why would you want to be coming to this uh, live event? I don't know another real estate investing live event like this. It's three days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on the first day, I'm going to be doing a a uh, diving very, very deep with you. And by the way, it's me there. It's not me promoting an event and somebody else shows up to teach you. You're going to be with me all three days. So the first day, uh, we're going to dive deep on uh, private money and uh, getting plugged into the funding for your deals. The afternoon of the first day, we go on the rehab bus tour. All right. So on this bus tour, we're not looking at houses in the multiple listing service, but we are actually looking at houses that my company is doing. We go on the tour. You're going to meet some very, very important team members uh, of my business, the contractors that we do business with, how we do business with the contractors. Uh, You're going to meet Beth Garner, our interior designer that's been with us for 14 years. And you're going to see transformational properties. What I mean by that is you'll see some properties that we haven't even started on yet. You'll see other properties that were midway through the rehab process. And you'll also see other houses that we just finished, just gotten staged, and now we're just being marketed. And so you'll see how we transform properties in a very, very short period of time and uh, and make huge uh, profits. Our average profits right now are about $65,000 per deal here in this small market. So we're here in uh, the Moorhead City, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina area. And our total target market is only 40,000 people, but we're doing on average three deals a month in this small market. 
And again, the profits are averaging $65,000. So at this event, I'm going to show you exactly how we do this business. So the rehab bus tour is on the first day. On the second day, I actually have private lenders that are coming to the event that you get to network with. I'm also going to teach you on the second day my foreclosure system that accounts for about 25% of our business, how we locate these deals before other real estate investors even know they exist. Uh, the third day is all about automation, uh, selling houses fast, how we can sell any house in three days or less. And so, again, after the show, get on over to www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast. Check it out and get registered. I look forward to meeting you in person at the upcoming live event. Okay, so let's get on with today's show and the lessons learned. So this property, as I said, I'm going to be at my real estate attorney's office a little bit less than an hour from right now closing on this property. So right before the show started, I've written down some lessons uh, that I want to share with you about this particular house. So this house is located at 506 Quailwood Court. Uh, right here in Carteret County in a neighboring town uh, next to where we live in Newport. The first lesson that I want to share with you about this property, and that is I would not be closing on this property unless I had my realtor set up on what I call automatic drip for me to receive in my email box every day, every hour in real time every new bank owned property that's hitting the market in my target market area. So different multiple listing services have different services that uh, the realtor subscribe to. Your realtor uh, will know exactly how to set this up. So this is a bank owned property, all right? And so first of all, even before this lesson number one, you need to have a relationship with a realtor that uh, you're going to make all your offers through on your bank owned properties. So I, that's another lesson right there, sort of a sub lesson. I don't make any of my offers on bank owned properties through the listing agent that's got that property listed. I make all of my bank owned offers or I actually any offer that's in the multiple listing service. I make that offer through my realtor that I have a relationship with. And in fact, my realtor, Chris is his name. We've been doing business together for 14 years. I make all of my offers through him of any houses that are in the multiple listing service and check this out. Any offers that I get accepted, it is the seller of the property that's going to be paying my realtor, all right? So I'm not having to pay my realtor any money, any kind of commission for pulling my comps, getting my CMA together, my comparable market analysis. I don't make any kind of offer on any house unless and until I have a current CMA, comparable market analysis, uh, put together and calculated by my realtor with their opinion of what the property will be worth after it's all fixed up and in pristine condition. So again, lesson number one, assuming you have a relationship set up with the realtor. Um, and in fact, I should probably, in fact, I'm speaking to my executive producer right now, Scott. I need to do a show very soon upcoming on uh, how to locate a uh, realtor for um, the real estate investor to work with. But nonetheless, assuming you've got that relationship in place, have your realtor set you up on automatic drip, getting all the new, and this is important, getting all the new bank owned properties in your target market emailed to you immediately. And secondly, very important, having all the price reductions of current listings, all right? So any bank owned properties that are already listed in the multiple listing service, any of those that have price reductions, you want that in real time, immediately emailed to you on automatic. So you, you, know, you don't have to rely on the realtor remembering to do this, the software, 
will do it for you automatically. So you're gonna to need to give your realtor the target area, the zip codes that you want. Uh, you may want to give some type of price ranges. Maybe you don't want to do mobile homes or manufactured homes. Those could be eliminated from what's being uh, emailed to you. That's lesson number one, get set up on automatic drip with your realtor. Lesson number two is have your realtor watching what we call the hot sheet. So in most areas, in most notable listing services, the realtors get what's called a hot sheet, which means they are emailed every day in real time, any price reductions, any new listings in the multiple listing service. So you don't want to rely on 100% uh, on the automatic drip coming into your email box. You want to have a a, a fail safe or a double check system in place to where you don't miss out on any of the deals. So you want to have a relationship with your realtor that will text you or whatever way is the quickest way for you to get a message that would say something on the lines of, hey, here's a property that looks like it's got a possible spread. You know, I think you ought to, you know, take a look at it. We ought to go look at this property. So lesson number two don't rely totally on the email system to work. You want your realtor looking for you as well to make sure. So in fact, on this particular property, 506 Quailwood Court, uh, Chris texted me right after it was sent out um, on the automatic email drip. Um, he texted me the information to make sure that I didn't miss out on it. That's the second lesson. The third lesson is time is of essence. Time is of essence. Urgency. I cannot stress this. I mean, particularly when I started out investing uh, 15 years ago, I learned this lesson the hard way. And that is if you snooze, you lose. All right. So what I mean by time is of essence is once you have determined that this is a, you know, a particular property that, that may have a nice spread. Now, what I mean by spread is Comparing the after repaired value, what we call the ARV, the ARV, after repaired value, to what the listing price is or what the asking price is. So, for example, this particular property that I'm closing on, 506 Crowwood Court, the after repaired value is knocking right on $290,000. Well, the list price was $209,000. $209,000 list price after repaired value, uh, you know, $290,000. So there's a huge spread right there between what the after repaired value uh, would be after it's all fixed up and the asking price. So when I say time is of essence, you want to get out either yourself or someone on your team. Now, of course, I travel quite a bit. So if I couldn't go look at the house, Chris, my realtor, and one of my contractors I would send to actually go look at the house, estimate repairs, uh, and tell me, you know, what that estimation would be on getting the house all fixed up and ready for market. So when I say time is, time is of essence, when I got the notification, by the way, I just got this notification less than two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, this property hit the market. Excuse me, I take that back. It was less than a month ago, and I'm going to get into another lesson learned here in a moment about when your offer is not accepted, you may get a second chance. So I was in town. I met Chris, my realtor. I met him at the house in less than 24 hours of him notifying me of the opportunity on this deal. So get out there right away because when it's a hot deal, offers will come in. There will be multiple offers, and you can miss out. So don't let any grass grow before you or somebody on your team is at that property. So get out of the house now. That's lesson number three. So lesson number four is you or someone on your team must be able to quickly and accurately estimate repairs. Okay. And when I say estimate repairs, I don't mean getting a budget sheet put together line item by line item by line item. I'm just talking about getting within $5,000. When, when I looked at this house uh, and I didn't have my contractor go with me, I just met Chris, my realtor there at the house. 
when I got there, I'm just going to estimate the repairs within uh, within five thousand dollars. It's either going to be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, et cetera. And so you've got to learn how to estimate repairs and get it within five thousand dollars. Now, of course, Murphy lives at every house. There's always surprises. But because of the formula that we use on the maximum allowable offer, we call that the Mayo formula, MAO, maximum allowable offer, we've got Murphy budgeted in there for the surprises <clears throat> and the unexpected surprises. <clears throat> so, estimating repairs. So, I was at the property with Chris maybe 15 minutes. And on this particular property, the main thing that's going to be done to it is just cosmetics. So he told me what the heated square footage was. Obviously, it needed all paint, all interior paint. The exterior was vinyl siding, so no exterior paint. I use uh, $2 a heated square foot to estimate interior paint. So the, uh, the square footage on this house is about 2,200 and some heated square feet. So I know my interior paint uh, using high quality paint is going to run about $4,400, $4,500 on the interior paint. That's just an example. My floor covering, I use two to three dollars, depending as to whether I'm going to use laminate flooring or I'm going to be using carpet or a tile between two and three dollars per heated square feet. So you need to learn. And in fact, I'll be teaching this at my upcoming live event, how to estimate repairs accurately and very quickly. So that's number four. You've got to know how to estimate repairs or have someone on your team that will estimate the repairs. Then you're able to figure up your offer right there on the spot. In fact, while I was with Chris during that 15 to 20 minute visit at the property, I was able to give him uh, my offer. Lesson number five, very, very important. You must have your funding already lined up for your deals before you make the offers. Very important, because here's why. You see this offer that I made on this house, I made the offer uh, stating that I could close with no loan contingencies within seven days of my offer being accepted. Very important. The likelihood of any other real estate investor making that kind of offer is very slim. In fact, I know over the past 15 years, I have gotten a lot of my offers accepted and my offer actually could be less than other competing offers. And that's because I've got the funding lined up with my private lenders. Okay, so I'm not talking hard money lenders. I'm not talking banks. I'm not talking institutions. I'm talking doing business with individuals just like you, just like me got that lined up, ready to go. I am convinced the reason my offer ended up being accepted was because I was able to make the offer to where I could close all cash with no loan contingency within seven days of my offer being accepted. Now, let me make this point, And that is, yes, you can make an offer on the offer to purchase through your realtor, you can make an offer with no loan contingencies, but you can still close the deal using private money. So when you make the offer with no loan contingencies, what that means is you don't have to go out and get approved for a mortgage or a loan. You've already got the private money pledged from your private lenders ready to go. So that's lesson number five. You got to have the funding lined up. And again, at my upcoming live event, I guarantee you at the live event, you're going to get plugged into the funding to where you can have this private money lined up to where you will not miss out on any deal because you didn't have the money lined up. Lesson number six, and that is you sometimes can get a second chance. So let me tell you what happened on this deal. Let me give you the numbers right now. So the after repaired value, as I said, is right at $290,000. When I was there with my realtor, Chris, I estimated repairs not to exceed $20,000. It was listed at $209,000. So I offered $195,000, $195,000. 
And so here's another lesson. They came back and they said, submit your highest and best offer because we have multiple offers. So in this, here's the lesson. Don't get sucked in to the emotional trap of give me your highest and best offer. So, you know, I started out at 190, but I had already determined that the most I was going to offer was $195,000. Well, I got beat out or another offer was accepted. Okay. Now, again, this was about three weeks ago. Now, another important lesson, and that is ask your realtor to still monitor the property to watch it to see if the, uh, the status of it being under contract falls through and it comes back active. Guess what? One week later, it fell through. It came back up on the market again. Guess what? And here's the final lesson. Sometimes you get a second chance to make even more profit and save more money. Guess what I did? I put in my maximum offer at $190,000 and I made the offer to where I would close, as I said, in seven days with no loan contingencies. All right. I also have my real estate um, agent, my realtor, put in the offer that there will not be any inspections and no appraisals. So I have my offer as clean as possible. There's another lesson. The cleaner your offer, meaning no contingencies, the more offers you will get accepted, okay? So I went in at 190,000 and guess what? They accepted my offer less than two hours after the offer went in without any, um, you know, going back and forth on the negotiation. So, the week before that, I was offering 195 and I went in this time at 190 and it got accepted. So here are the numbers again. The after repaired value, $290,000. The uh, estimated repairs, all cosmetic, are $20,000. So that brings it down to 270. And then I'm buying it for 190. All right. So even with carrying costs, we're going to have a profit on this particular deal of over $70,000. Well, there you have it. Lessons learned from 506 Quailwood Court. And thank you for uh, joining in here on the show, Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. Again, get on over to www.jayconner.com forward slash money podcast. And I'll look forward to seeing you at the upcoming live event, Real Estate in the uh, Cash Flow Conference. So again, thank you so much for joining uh, here on the show. Look forward to seeing you on another upcoming episode. And uh, I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority from here in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Here's wishing you all the best and helping you take your real estate investing career to the next level. Bye for now.